Hey guys, back to Dog House today. Well, as you all know, the uh, camshaft in my garden tractor shot. So I'm going to start a video of how to change the camshaft. This whole ordeal started out where my garden tractor wouldn't turn over. It just grunt. You turn about a quarter turn to stop, quarter turn to stop. And so after doing some investigating, I found out that the the compression release valve is broke. And that's on the camshaft of the, uh, the engine. So I got to change it. So I'm going to walk you through the procedure of how to take the motor off, how to, how to take the engine, how to take the engine off, change the camshaft and pressure release valve and put her back together again. And if I can do it, anybody can do it, because I've never done this before. But anyway, hang around, guys. See what happens. By the way, this is a Briggs & Stratton 19 horse, uh, 540 cc's. So it will uh, get her done. I tried to order a uh, an original Briggs & Stratton camshaft, but Briggs & Stratton has been out of uh business i guess because they they've been uh on the website it just says uh as far as the camshafts out of stock and they've been out of stock for over a year now because i, I back checked some other people that have been trying to get them and they're they've been out of stock for a year now so i guess you got to go with the aftermarket crap but i found the best one that i could i just go by the reviews and the one that has the most reviews that's the one i bought so anyway let's get at her Okay, first thing you got to do, you got to drain your oil. Very first thing. Otherwise, you're going to have a heck of a mess. Then disconnect all your wiring. First of all, by disconnecting your battery. And disconnecting the, the starter wire. Now there's two wires running here. They go to your solenoid. Got to take the cover off. That comes off the 3 8 socket or ratchet wrench, wrench, whatever you use. Don't forget to take your gas lines off here. And the reason you got to pull this here off the cover is because you got your carb down here. You got to take that off. Got to disconnect that. Might as well take your oil filter off while you're at this stage and uh, slowly pick at it. Take your muffler off for your exhaust pipe. Now you put your bolts back in so you don't lose them. Take your spark plug out. You got to disconnect these wires here. Don't forget to put them back. I just might leave it all together for the time being. I'll just take this, take the throttle cable off right here, take this whole thing off as a unit. I'll see.
Well, I think I got everything disconnected from the top here, so now to take the bolts out of the bottom and the pulleys in the belt. So anyway, I don't know how you guys do it. Whether you want to crawl underneath the machine or lift it up. I'm going to lift mine up. Safety first. Okay, let's crawl underneath the machine here and see what we got to do. Here, here we got a pulley, the big pulley that drives the cutting wheel or the snow blower, whichever. That's the main, that's the main pulley. Then up here, there's another pulley. These belts got to come off, but I can't take this belt, sorry, I can't take this top belt off because there's a, a guard around it in here, you can see it here. Okay, when you take this nut off, you, you have to use an impact, you cannot use a, a wrench or a ratchet, but anyway, I got it. What happens is when you loosen this here off, this whole shaft comes down as you as you loosen this here. So as this here comes down, then the you can get the belts off. So anyway, you have to take the bottom the bottom uh, belt off because it gets hung up on the on the guide here. Once that gets off, now you've got to take the bolts out. There's four bolts. One here, one over here, a couple to the back. Take those four bolts out, and it should lift off. There, yeah, all the bolts out, it should just lift off. Okay, we're on the table. Now, the fun part comes. Stick around. <laughs> 